I previously shown you how to create uh, volumes and volume groups uh, within the Power Store Manager from the storage tab. Uh, I wanted to give you a uh, feel for what it takes to create the uh, uh, NAS servers and file systems uh, from Power Store Manager. And that simply is done again by navigating to the storage tab. And then I either I can go to write the file systems or NAS servers. And if I wanted to create something uh, without uh, going down uh, one extra level deep, I can certainly do that from the plus sign, similar to what I was showing you earlier for volumes and volume groups. We'll start with the NAS servers because obviously I need uh, NAS servers defined uh, to have file systems. I can have certainly as many NAS servers here as I want. I have the ability to share out NFS uh, v3 or uh, v4, as well as SIFs, SMB, concurrently, uh, my preferred IP interfaces, current nodes that they're uh, running on, preferred nodes that they're running on inside of the existing appliance. Uh, and again, I have two. If I wanted to, to dive into e either one of these, I certainly have the ability to take a look at the network interfaces, take a look at the name services. Uh, for DNS, Unix would be LDAP or NIS. If I chose not to use either one of these, I certainly have the ability to create and upload local files with my network group, my group, my passwords, my hosts, permissions, so on and so forth. Any alerts on the, on the servers themselves, protection policies are with respect to NDMP, sharing protocols, already talked about this and shown this, uh, my SMB server, right, enabled or disabled, am I doing standalone or active directory? And depending upon what I've selected, uh, I'll have various uh, fill-ins uh, and uh, text fields that I need to specify. I also support FTP. And if I did hook up to LDAP or DNS, I certainly have the ability to, to do some user mapping for these various sharing protocols. And last but not least, security, uh, Kerberos and antivirus. Again, depending upon whether I have them enabled or disabled, um, will dictate uh, what. Uh, what I might need to specify. If I wanted to create a new NAS server, again, I could have done it from here with the plus sign, so I could do it from here. Considering uh, this is the simulator and I do not have all the, the various uh, things I need to specify. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you everything here, but uh, basically everything that I just went through from a modified perspective, walking through the, the various tabs, that's the kind of things that you would specify in the, the creation wizard. Okay. So again, one, if I give it a name, I will at least show you through one window what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to make up an IP address and a subnet mask and a gateway. The VLAN is zero. And then from here, again, this is where you would start specifying your protocol types, your Windows server settings, your Unix settings, your DNS settings. But again, as I mentioned, if I, depending upon what I select here, uh, you know, obviously when I start going through the, the next variety of screens, it's going to ask me a lot of things that uh, I just can't do in the simulator and don't have the answers for. But you get the feel of it, I uh, suspect. Take a look at the file systems. File systems map to a server, obviously. Uh, so again, multiple file systems to any given server, multiple servers as well, as I sh was showing you earlier. If I wanted to take a look at an existing file system once again, similar tabs up top, capacity, use and free, performance characteristics, IOPS latency and bandwidth, uh, change what you wanna look at, change the timeline, any kind of alerts, what's your protection policy for your uh, file snapshots, your, your file system snapshots, and any quotas that you may have uh, for the share, and then obviously for the user and tree. And again, to create, you can do it from the storage tab with the plus, you can also do it from here. Right? Which file system, or I'm sorry, file server do I want this file system? to be uh, hooked up to, give it a name, and a description, a size. 
Uh, do I want to specify a different name or a specific name for the NFS export, or am I okay with uh, using the name of the file system that I uh, gave it in the uh, uh, previous dialog? If I do specify a custom name, uh, there will be a, another uh, pop-up dialog that shows up uh, between here and the configure access to uh, uh, create uh, mappings and secure for security. Same with the SMB share name, your protection policy. Again, right out of the, the policies dialog uh, that I've shown you previously, uh, the two that I created and the one uh, that were already there and the one I created. If I don't want any, I go to next. Little summary, create file system. And now I went from, you know, it's 20 file systems to 21 and there's my FS1, 1.5 gig out of 250, hooked up to the server, no protection policy. Obviously, if I wanted to go modify that, I certainly can. Coming into here, assign a policy, just like we've done before, take manual snapshots. Again, very consistent look and feel of the GUI. Whether you're looking at file systems, volume containers, volumes, virtual machines. Um, and as I mentioned, and you guys have seen throughout the, the variety of demos, a lot of different ways to do a lot of different things. No one way is right, no one way is wrong, no one way is better than the other. It's whatever uh, you're comfortable with. Uh, a lot of things jump out at you uh, very easily um, in terms of the, the, the job logs, your alerts. Uh, so again, if uh, something isn't right, you're pretty much gonna pick it up if not on the main dashboard, somewhere uh, in your travels of the GUI.